Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of this studio. My name is Adam. You guys have been asking me for a video about affordable mallets, cheap mallets, mallets that are good for beginners. So this video is about five affordable mallets under fifty dollars. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Artifact Percussion, Zero Gravity Percussion, Rob Utomo, Will Flynn, Matt Lab, Bradley Crowley, John K. Halter, Matt Osavsky, Ryan Carlisle, Sang Shun Han, and Rudolf Kralik, and Scott Rader. Thank you so much for joining the studio VIP team. And today's featured studio artist is Khalid Vibrinti. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash M10, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again, I hope you've been well and once again thank you so much for the support in the last couple of weeks. I know the uploads have been a little bit slower than usual but I'm back now from the US, I'm back from PASIC 2018. It's good to be back. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to do videos about budget things, whether it's like affordable mallets or a good first set of marimba mallets to own before you start your real collection, or even just a pair of mallets to use as a throwaway pair when you don't want to damage your real pair. And it just so happens that right now is December, which is the end of the first half of the school year for some of you guys, and it's the end of the complete school year for us down here in Australia. So it means it's the start of the festive season, and the festive season is one of the best times to buy. A lot of the shops are doing two for ones as well as sales. It's just a really good time to cop, whether it's for yourself or for other people, but usually it's for yourself. <laughs> so today's video is going to have five affordable marimba mallets under 50 US dollars. Now I know a lot of people have different definitions of affordable and different definitions of marimba mallets. So I've included five different brands, five different prices, five different models for you guys to check out in today's video. But before I continue, I'd like to give a shout out to the Marimba Festival and competition happening in Australia called Marimba Fest, which is happening in July 2019. You can register right now or find out more information at www.marimbafest.com. So without any further ado, let's get stuck into the first set of mallets, which are these, the Drew Tucker mallets from Mike Bolter Mallets. Drew Tucker is my good friend from the States and he of course is a really, really good vibraphone player. He has a band called The New Standard. He's also the co-founder of Mallet Lab and he has these really orange, bright, huge mallets called the Groove Masters, or should I say, Groove Master. And yes, I know that these are vibraphone mallets, but they can also be used as crossover mallets on the marimba. Now on a side note, in recent months, a lot of you guys might have noticed Mike Bolter, the company, is no longer trading as Mike Bolter Mallets because Mike Bolter himself is no longer in the company. He's retired now. And as a result, the company is now under Zildjian, the massive, massive company Zildjian, which just seems to be buying everything nowadays. But onwards and upwards with Bolter Mallets, I hope they do well in this new arrangement. And yeah, it means more mallets for us and hopefully lower prices. But yes, yeah, speaking of price, these mallets are retailing for just under 40 US dollars, which is a very reasonable price. And you're about to hear what they sound like. So yeah, the sound is very big. It's very, very big because the mallets are quite weighty and they have quite short shafts, which means they give you this really punchy in your face sound. And on vibraphone, it works really well because the metal is usually used to those very little jazz mallets from other people like Tony Miscelli and Terry Gibbs. And you get these huge mallets and suddenly there's a really big round turn out of the vibraphone. It's very special. So yes, overall, a really good buy if you're looking for something that is a bit heavier, is a crossover mallet and projects really well. The second mallet series is a mallet series that I reviewed recently, but it's also the oldest mallet series in this video. It is the Lee Howard Stevens series from Malatech. These are the only traditional multi-tonal mallets in this selection, which means they get a range of tones out of one hardness. I'm holding the LS15s, which are my favorite Lee Howard Stevens mallet. They're right in the middle, and they can basically do any tone from soft to a pretty decent hard.
Now the Stevens mallets come in at a very reasonable retail price of about 38 US dollars, which is very, very reasonable for one pair of mallets that can do many different tones. In fact, this is one of the oldest multi-tonal mallets. I think it's almost 30 years old. The weight of the mallets is pretty reasonable. It's not exactly 50-50, but it's pretty close. And you'll notice also the shafts are a little bit longer, which makes it easier for first timers to reach large octaves in one hand. So if you're looking for a really traditional multi-tone American style mallet, this is the one. The next mallet series that I'd recommend for under $50 is of course the Encore Mallets Nancy Zoltzman series. This series is the definition of an oldie but a goodie. It's also a very classic mallet series. Nancy Zoltzman has been around for quite a long time now and she is one of the most respected marimba artists. And this mallet series, I've seen it almost everywhere. I think everyone has a pair of these lying around. Now I actually only own this graduated set of the Zoltzmans. I don't own any individual pairs of them. So if if I had to choose one pair that I think is really, really effective and that everyone has, it's of course the Encore Mallets Nancy Zoltzman 3, which is the medium. It's a very versatile mallet, it sounds very good in pretty much the entire marimba, not too soft, not too hard in either register, doesn't really offend, not 50-50, but not heavy either, it's somewhere in between. And I think it's pretty good that these mallets are still only around 36 US dollars a pair, retail, that is a very good price considering these mallets will take you all the way from a beginner to any concert hall around the world. And to be honest, I like Encore Mallets Mallets a lot. I use the Kana Amore series, I use the Nana Memura series. I didn't put those in this video, even though it's about the same price, because the Zeltzman is by far the most versatile one. The other reason why I put this mallet series in this video is because you can get it in a graduated set with six, four, three, and two. And that means you can pay only about 70 US dollars to have what is supposed to be four pairs of mallets in one set. So if you have a little bit more money to spend, buy the graduated set. If you don't have that much money to spend, if you can only buy one pair, then buy the Zeltzman 3s. It's a very versatile mallet. This whole mallet series is very versatile and it will last a very long time. Okay, so the next pair that's under 50 US dollars is a brand new release. It only just came out at PASIC 2018 this year. It is none other than the Beverly Johnston series from Marimba 1. So the Beverly Johnston series, as you can tell from the shape and the color and the design, is basically a homage to the wave wraps. It's very similar in design, but it's nowhere near as expensive as the wave wraps. We all know the wave wraps cost well in excess of 80 US dollars. I think that is an absolutely crazy price to pay. The only time people buy wave wraps is when there's BOGOs, buy one, get one free. But there are two main differences with the Beverly Johnstons. One is of course, they are meant to be crossover mallets. They can be used on both marimba and vibraphone. And there's also a separate dedicated vibe mallet should you choose to use that. And the second most obvious thing is the retail price, which is under 50 US dollars. That is almost half the price of a pair of wave wraps. So before I talk more about these mallets, do they sound like the poor people's wave wraps? Let's find out. No, so the Beverly Johnston mallets, there's only three marimba models and one vibe model. So that makes four models as opposed to the wave wraps six. And I think that makes a really good value investment for people who don't want to dive into the wave wrap world, but they really, really want a pair of marimba one mallets. In terms of feel, these mallets feel pretty much the same as the wave wraps. They're not as bouncy because I think there's a little bit less yarn. Otherwise the sound is 
pretty good. And finally, it wouldn't be a budget mallet video if it wasn't for the one and only Zero Gravity Percussion Mars series. So there's already a full review of these mallets on my channel, you can check it out over here. But basically, whenever I talked about Zero Gravity in the middle of this year, everyone wanted to buy a pair because they were very, very cheap. And right now, the retail price is sitting between $32 to $34. And the reason why I say between is because the main issue that Zero Gravity has right now is stock. They've said that they're gonna be shipping out new orders and new stock by January. So it's a bit like <laughs> Yeezy season, <laughs> but if it's happening, it's happening. If you manage to get your hands on a pair of these, whether it's directly through Zero Gravity or through a distributor, these mallets are very good value for the price. So yeah, these are the cheapest mallets in today's video and if you can get them after the restock, that will be fantastic value for money. So let me know, which one of these mallets are you going to cop this December for the festive season? Or are you going to cop something else? Maybe you have another mallet series in mind. Maybe you want to buy a marimba. Let me know what you're thinking of down below. Once again, thank you so much for the support. If you have any suggestions, please let me know down below. And please hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads. Thank you so much for pushing me almost to 12,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. It has been a whirlwind year. I can't believe there's less than three weeks to go until 2018 is over and 2019 begins. So yeah, stay tuned and I will see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.